Uh, I just want to explain a few words um, about what I'm learning about this, this camera scheme as chair of the whole being citizens committee for most of this time. And then to pass on again a message from John Henning MP, unfortunately won't be able to be here today. Um, I didn't know anything about this scheme until early this year. I, at that point, in late February, received a frankly misleading briefing that suggested that this was a scheme trying to deal with uh, problems around vehicle crime and the rest of it on the Stratford Road. Now, as I speak to you with vehicle crime on the Stratford Road, I did not necessarily have a problem. But as at that point, the officers that should go to the War Committee and the Constituency Committee. In April, uh, we were alerted that the camera was actually going up, and we saw where they were. And this was quite a surprise. Um, it was very clear, as you went around them, that the cameras reached a certain area. And in that certain area, essentially, was the area where the majority of Muslim residents in the area lived. Now, I attended two, I think we could say, fairly short meetings, uh, along with uh, colleagues, with Ducky Russell and Bleach. And at the second of those, I got given the briefing there that had been given to the Washington East and the Smartwork councillors back in April 2009. And I noticed the mention of the fact of this about an anti terrorism aspect to the plan. At that point, I made the obvious um, adding up. Because whilst you can argue that there's a crime problem in Smart Group, it is rather difficult to explain why half of my ward, Springfield, was included in this, when it is the 34th lowest crime ward in the city. There are only six wards with a lower crime record than, Smart, than Springfield. It was absolutely irrational in terms of the argument about crime to say that half of my ward should be included in this scheme. So, as far as I'm concerned, the arguments we were given as to this being about crime uh, really didn't suck up at that point. Uh, I therefore launched a public campaign against the cameras with Councillor Chowdhury and Councillor Lee Hendricks in April uh, with petitions and leaflets and sent a press release to Birmingham Mail which formed part of Gasby Orthia's uh, early coverage of the issue. I also wrote as chair to John Henry MP to lobby the Home Secretary and the Deputy Prime Minister. Um, and joined many other, well, all party councillors uh, on the constituency committee in resolving to oppose the cameras and demanding their removal. In my view, this system is quite wrong and quite different from the uh, a normal CCTV scheme. My problem with this scheme is it clearly targets a particular group of people. As far as I'm concerned, that is wrong in principle. So this scheme is taken out. All of it. Over the I regret the damage that this scheme has done to local policing again. It, the police have got a great deal better um, over the last five years or so at responding to local concern about policing and good, good relationships with local communities. Uh, delivering on the local police and agenda. I'm afraid that this scheme will considerably erode trust and will actually set policing back. I don't want that to happen, but I think that in order to show good faith now, this scheme must come out. <laughs> and now I just want to read a short email from John Henry. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't attend this meeting in person. The time of the meeting has moved to time I can no longer attend. Uh, I spoke to Theresa May, the Home Secretary, about the AMPR cameras both last week and this week just gone. She has agreed that this issue should be looked at when the government looks at the wider issue of CCTV and public surveillance systems. Personally, uh, I believe that there is a role for CCTV systems in shopping centres. I am, however, unhappy about the Net Truth Project champion and the way it has been imposed on Birmingham without consultation. CCTV can be useful in dealing with identifying problems with criminal behaviour, 
It's long to simply establish bigger and bigger government databases to keep track of the citizens of the United Kingdom. I see no reason why the government needs to have a database of where everyone in the country goes and that they keep for two years. The state cannot be trusted with our information. We've seen many examples where government data have been lost and has found its way into the public domain. There need to be limits established for how far things are allowed to go. That is what this review will do. The Home Secretary said to me in a meeting this week that Project Champion was heavy handed. It's obviously up to the local police authority and the local council to decide what to do. However, I think the regulations on such systems do need to be tightened up. We cannot simply trust the states. Time is.